That's fantastic. <laughs> Like, I think we should get top control and we got this. Oh, just. Yeah. That was actually. <laughs> that was actually sick. In the Overwatch League, give it up for the Fort of Mayhem. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Swoosh leading the pony ride to the stage. These guys are coming in at 0-3 as well. After falling to the London Spitfire, they drop to the Boston Uprising and eventually to the Seoul Dynasty. Yeah, but I have to say, their game against Seoul was actually really, uh, actually really strong. I love what we saw out of Twig on the second map on her right. Too many people, it's going to be hard to try and get a lot of value out of this ability. Oh, that's a lot of damage from J-Ho. Look at that! Pinking Kellex out of the air in the Valkyrie. We've seen it before, and there's another uh, clip for Reddit. Territory up on this point, and he is going to be put under scrutiny by the entirety of the Valiant. Comfortable point take, and they're out of the gate so fast. And the only one that drops here is going to be Unko. He's going to go over to Sombra to get back in the fight quick, because the Valiant, the player advantage right now, coming right back towards the point. They're going to roll the tank out again. One tick, already got one tick. The Valiant really started to speed up here. Okay, blistering pace here for the Los Angeles squad, but there's more work to be done now, especially with the Transcendence being drawn out of Fidosa, but that's always a good thing. Agility's done the quite He has to switch off right now. You just can't heal, or you just can't get those kills through the Transcendence, and somebody's got to get to the point. Oh, he didn't get onto the point. Oh, that hurts, man. The ice block was a bit too early, and London Spitfire will go ahead and get two points here on their attack. 2-12 in the time. See what Prophet decides to do here with the grab. Be interesting, does not have to worry about the defense matrix, right? Because Diva not on the other side anymore. It'll be all the damage coming down here from London. How much to be said about that one? The Spitfire looking real good now. They seem to have things sorted out. Jess has been a big force. A lot of coalescences from Bedosa. And again, no real impactful ultimates on the horizon for the LA Valley. The problem, map with the multi tank composition is that if you're getting behind, you just don't get ultimates. And that was in the Spitfire already taking it away. Actually, sorry, it's Vic already had it. It was uh, Logic who was switching up to the Tracer. I was going with fantasy walls. Why have, to bring, why have to bring reality into my life? Funny, I was talking about one too. <laughs> That's a great start for the man as well. Manitan out of the mix. And on high Logic. Oh, oh, no. Silk Thread needs one more shot there to finish the kill. Nuss went down. He's getting the damage done as this Farah. A good attempt at stalling from the Spitfire, but ultimately it's fruitless in the valley. And now on the board. It's a smart play by Prophet to go for the spawn, able to take out Unko, so you deny that second support coming on in. But just a lot of pow firepower for the Valiant here on the point. He's You're kidding me! That is that sick. Is sick. Launches the self-destruct on his way down, is able to take out Bird Ring. We talked well, about these go, guys. Man. We let's talked about go. these guys leveling up from contender. My uh, series is the fact that London Spitfire are very quick to adapt, and Valiant are taken off guard a little bit. <laughs> So we get a background there. Yeah. He struggled on Numbani in a point where it was a long walk back. That part where they lost the map was, you know, at a great disadvantage in the spawn. They've got a similar situation now. They've got a long way to walk back, but soon not another back cap. Harry Hook still recovering from this one soon. Oh, oh, oh. slept down. Bedosa's not having any of that nonsense. If it's live, I'm gonna start. Yeah. Okay, guys. Since I am a proud and reformed supporter of Overwatch League, I will stop the stream. I'm a proud supporter, okay? Alright guys, thanks for thanks for all the subscriptions, <laughs> thanks for all the donations, thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much guys. Thank you, thank you. Now, trying to just grind out a fight right on top of the payload here, but the dive from London Spitfire getting into the back lines. Mickey can't quite counter dive, does get away from the pulse bomb at least. And Chips does end up getting taken out by Gesture in that primal rage. They're not done yet though, they've nearly got it through to point B. Coco does fall though. So now oh, the stick! Oh, oh, the stick! Oh, the double kill! Effect with the hero play, but can they get it through to the rest of point B? That's their chance, that's their opportunity. Easing a little bit on him, we're starting to see some style points. That's some response to Shanghai that we can show uh, and he is the guy who is gonna need I mean he's already been stepping up quite massively that's not soon but we will be getting to him <laughs> his name is there his, his name, name is, is there, there. Yeah. it is there but still uh, actually if Seagull can pull off a pick Prophet's going to make the first attempt though with the rip tire yep whoa this tire's going way up there and down from above oh 
three! He came from behind and nobody saw that one coming. Back in time. They will try. Murdering already there, so they can... Starting the contesting early on, and that's gonna they're gonna try and punish this Winston ulting. Oh, Effect dropped early, but Taimu zoning the supports out. Has he done it long enough? Effect comes back. Taimu getting in behind. Oh, he misses another hook. But that doesn't matter because the kills are coming in big time for Dallas. They may have won this map right now, unless Prophet can turn it around. Doesn't look like he can. One last ditch effort by Jeff.